I find funny as a young mom, every time I'm with my daughter, like I love our time together. I love the chances that we get to bond. Uh, she makes me crack up. She's like the funniest kid ever. Um, but you know, you start thinking about all the time, like you're like, oh, I really want alone time to do what I want. You know what I mean? We've all been there. At least in my case, I can't speak for everybody, but in my case, definitely. I always find that when I finally have that time to myself, I don't know what to do with it. Like right now I am working and I'm just kind of waiting for deliveries. I'm kind of driving around. I'm not gonna be like I switched towns because there wasn't any availability in the towns that I usually work in. So I'm in a different town right now. And I'm like, what the heck do I do with myself? It's kind of slow. Um, it's expected to be slow. Today happens to be a Wednesday and like the middle of the week tends to be slow for lunch. Sorry about that. I got interrupted. I have an order, which I am currently going to Friendly's to go pick up. Every time I think about spending time for myself, I always have this long list of stuff I want to do. And then when I actually get the time, I actually realize that I just want to be with my kid and then I miss her and I like rather be doing that than anything else and I end up with having nothing to do so at the moment um you know luckily I got this order and then I should have a shift like starting right after this one this one was a quick one it was a weird day I had to schedule a whole bunch of weird shifts today um that was all they had available but I haven't been here in a while I'm trying to remember how to get here Sorry, this was like a spur of the moment, let's start vlogging kind of thing. I didn't even, you know what, I think I can, because there's like a median right here. If I can't, I'm sorry, but I think I can. Okay, let's move in here. Ooh. I remember Friendly's, ooh. I remember Friendly's being like the best place to eat ever. And I feel like it's gone downhill so bad and like so fast too i remember coming to friendlies all the time for like ice cream their ice cream is still bomb oh this hair <laughs> i'm like still so self-conscious about this hair but i think it's we got some weird i sprayed oops i put hairspray in my hair and i think i concentrated too much in the front because it looks a little rusty no, there's like big, ow, ew. Well, there's big like chunks of hairspray. But now it looks like dandruff. <laughs> ew, let's get that out before we go in. That looks appetizing. Okay, I don't even know what I'm picking up yet. I gotta check, oh, one little piece. <laughs> All right, that was a very creepy delivery. Sometimes I really wish I remembered to bring in my stupid camera on some of these deliveries because they are some of the sketchiest places I've ever been. And this one in particular was like kind of a duplex. And I went in, I knocked on the door and this guy yelled, come in. And I'm like, oh, I don't like those. So I opened the door just a little bit. And he's like, yep, up here. So like I opened the door a little bit more and I was in like a hallway. And then there was a set of stairs. There was a set of stairs right in front of me and he was like right at the top of the stairs. So I was like, mm, yeah, like. I went up the stairs, but only as far as like, if I extended my arm, he could reach it. You know, I didn't want to like go too close to him, but I do remember while I was thinking about still going to Burlington, which is the store I love going to, um, especially for Ella's, is Jeffrey was tweeted a picture of stolen makeup, stolen and expired makeup found at Burlington and like there is oh oh because the fact that Burlington had you know allowed this they had bought it they bought stolen and expired makeup and then put it on their shelves and stuff and I don't go to Burlington for like makeup products I've passed their makeup section and kind of like thought about maybe I should do like a full face of Burlington makeup but I've never really liked putting discount makeup on my face but the thing is, I've never liked putting discount makeup or like skincare on my face. I've never, never, ever liked that. I'm not like a big germaphobe at all either. It's just like, ugh, something about it just kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. So that's not going to happen. But I do want to browse their makeup section and just see, like, what are the chances 
that you would see a JS makeup product in there. I think that would be really interesting. So hopefully I won't get an order. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty close by to be honest. So um, if I get an order soon, that'd be helpful. But I mean, we'll see. We still have about an hour left here. And then we'll be going somewhere else to finish our shift today. And like I said, there is a pay less here too. And I'm curious if they've closed. The one closer to me, I think it's still open. I think it's going to be open until May, which is, you know, only next month, only a couple weeks away. But let, we're going to drive by it. And I don't want to hit anybody, but they don't look where they're going. They just walk in the middle of the road. I need to commit if you're cutting me off. Oh boy. Payless is still open. Um, it definitely says like, everything must go, uh, start closing, definitely, but <laughs> I don't know. I might stop in if I have time, because like I said, I have an hour to kill here and I don't know how long we'll be in here. But hopefully I can find a few things. I've been collecting stuff over the past month. I'm gonna be doing a collective haul, but I don't like doing the hauls until I'm like pretty much done so you guys get to see everything. But I also can't do it too late because she's gonna start wearing some of these clothes, so. Time management, ooh, I have the time management skills of a carrot. <laughs> Yay, yay, yay. Let me make sure I even have, because I do this 99% of the time, I'll finally get to a store and then I won't have my method of payment. Yes, I do. Okay, do. Let's go see what's inside. What's inside. No sign of his products, which is a good thing. Burlington was successful. I got my hands on a couple things for her, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm just gonna walk over to Payless instead of moving my car, because this intersection can be kind of tricky. But we're gonna see what we can find. Sorry for the angle, but I'm not really coming in here to spend money. Lord knows I don't need shoes. More to kill time because I still haven't gotten an order and I have more time here. Hi, how are you? I've come into Marshalls just to figure out what the heck to do, but I found these two pillows and they're like big square pillows and I like them to match the new um, kitchen or to match the new living room. I have like white and gray pillows, so I like the idea of having just all white ones. Oh, all right, that is one way to kill time, but I'm excited. I'm gonna start heading home because my shift here is almost over and I gotta start heading back that way anyways, but we made out. Um, again, my main focus at home has pretty much been the living room. So you saw the pillows, I'm gonna go put those out and then I grabbed this like planter thing. I don't know if I wanna pull it out right now. I think I'll pull it out at home. Um, and then I got her a bunch of clothes that I am going to save to show you guys for the haul. Um, that should be coming out soon anyways, because honestly, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot I put it on my bag. Honestly, the girl, it's pretty much done. Um, I've been sort of buying extra of um, of like dresses and short sleeves. Um, the only other thing I really need for her is like long sleeves. And the reason that I'm doing it is because, she, you know, she's also starting school. So if I see something really, really cute that she's still going to fit into, by the time school starts, hopefully it won't get destroyed by the end of summer. Um, 
So that's my kind of reasoning behind that. I'll still go again. I'm trying to mentally remind myself that it's pretty much every April and every August I would go shopping for the kids. Right? That makes sense. April for the spring and summer. Well, the thing, I say August because of back to school. But I feel like, I don't know. I guess it's just going to take trial and error. But I've learned. I used to say I'm going to go in May. But I found that I, I kind of need to start. Because we have like random hot days. You know what I mean? And then I have nothing to put her in because she doesn't fit in anything from the summer before. So I think April is an, an, an appropriate time for spring and summer and then possibly August for fall and winter um, but oh yeah don't scream <laughs> oh yeah baby all right I was attempting to set you guys up in like a different part of my house than the usual kitchen routine but I'm gonna turn this off real quick so you can actually um, hear me so we're in my living room at the moment so I've been looking for like you know a picture up there there's still so much that I need to do to this room, especially with furniture. So I'm not really looking for like decor and stuff. Um, I just happen to find these couple of items. Okay, just took off my jacket and got a pair of scissors because the first thing I got again were these pillows. So these are my pillows right now. They're mostly, well, they're gray on one side, white on the other with gray pattern. So I really wanted to bring more of the white out because the entire set is gray, the walls are gray, there's a lot of gray, so I wanted to incorporate a lot of white in my decor and like accent pieces. So that's why I thought that these two would be perfect and actually might not need scissors. Um, but I'm gonna set these up real quick. I'm gonna cut the tag off, but I wanna see how they look first. I put both of them on the bigger couch and I still feel like I need like a little guy tucked in right here or something. I'm not sure. I, I... Moments like this, I kind of resort to like Pinterest or Google to get inspiration for like pillow designs. You know what I mean? But I do like the pillows, but I really do need to, uh, I'm going to cut those tags off. And then let me show you what else I got. I uh, stopped at the mailbox on my way in too, so we have some mail in here mail 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 all junk okay so this bag actually has all my daughter's clothes but we put this in here too because it has a lot of room but it's um <laughs> kind of freaky looking um so i love plants <laughs> and greenery in my house i feel like it just makes it so warm and inviting and welcoming i don't know um, so I saw this plant and she discounted it for me um, because I ended up ended up having a crack right here. But I'm like, it's fine. Like, I didn't even notice it up here. Like, I, I didn't even notice it because the leaves were covering it. So I took it anyways. Um, so it was originally 20. She knocked it down to 16. Um, but it has, you know, this is tied. But it has a long rope. And I'm going to hang it somewhere in here. Not quite sure. Again, I kind of want to wait until I get more furniture in here to see where this will hang best. Um, and that's probably what I'm going to do. But yeah, so crazy looking spider plant. Like it's, I mean, it's made out of like plastic or something, but it's super long. I don't know. I really liked it for some reason. Going bowling today. Ella, we going bowling today, baby. Okay, Ella. What, baby? Yeah, I'll help you in one second. Where's... Mm -hmm. You ready? Let me help you. Oh, thank you. 
Welcome back to Shay's on this channel. I heard he was this talking is... about, I can't even believe you just won this, though. Oops. We See just decided. String? I I was uh, nicknamed PBD Mass, the Rope Cutter King. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he strikes right, back. Guys, so here it is. I'm actually really excited because we never got me? that iPad mini to work. Is this for Ella? Yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. This is like a genuine... Woo. Huh? Smash. <laughs> we have no warranty on this. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Oh. And that costed me eight dollars. Took me eight tries. That? that is insane. Told you. Oh my god! My iPad! <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder if the it'll fit or not. What do you mean? Oh, we got I got a mini size case for oh, the iPad mini. Might. I wonder if it'll fit. That what is this side again? insane. No, I'm gonna I, I gotta all right, we got a charger. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab A Quick Start Guide. It's probably like a cheap one, but it's still like whatever. Even if it only I've costs a hundred bucks. For yeah. L, like long trips and stuff. This is awesome. It costed us eight dollars. Yeah. Good job, Bobby. Wait. Oh, I need a song to play right now. Where's my phone? Keep talking. I'll get demonetized for songs. Oh. Come on. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. <laughs> Are you sure I can play that iPad? Um, I have to set it up and get some games on here for you, but yes. Because this is awesome, because we could even have our own TV back and give this to her for YouTube if we're at home. Yeah. Yes. Watch Family Guy. <laughs> can I see when it works?